What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the new feature of the slash camera command in Minecraft Bedrock. So the slash camera command is a new command in 1.20 of Minecraft that just got released and it's almost honestly the coolest command we have ever got. So basically the <laughs> exact structure of this command is really cool and there's a lot of cool things you can actually do with the command. So basically, I've created this little command block showing off what you can actually do with this command. So I'm just going to turn command blocks on real quick, and we are going to become a different game. And look at this. So we're just walking around with a new camera. We're just looking anywhere we want. And it's really, really cool because you can actually change the position however you want. So the possibilities are really endless with what this can bring us because we can make so many cool maps and so many cool features with just this simple command. So I've actually <laughs> reached the bounds of the uh, the command, so we're actually going to go back. Uh, but let me turn command blocks back off, and then we're going to do slash ca camera clear or uh, smelly curry clear. There we go. So now I'm back to a normal player. And I think we're over here, right? Yep, yeah, so there is our command right there. And we're going to go always day. And we can just check out this command simply by looking at it. So I'm going to show you the little command that we have in a little bit. But let me show you first the syntax of this command that you can use. So basically, when you type dash camera in, you can do so many cool things with this command. So basically, we're going to do slash camera, select the player you want to have then we can simply clear the camera, fade the camera, or set it to a position, rotation, or ease. So what I'm going to do is actually show you the fade command, which is also really cool. So if I do fade color, and I can do, or we can just go fade time, and we can do a float in second, so it's going to fade in uh, one second, hold a second, and then float out a second. And then look at this. Your camera just fades. It is very, very cool, and like the possibilities for this is so cool. Like imagine making some type of uh, tutorial series for your map, and then you fade into the next section, and you now camera is positioned over there, and it's really, really cool. And basically, you can conjoin these all together by doing something like camera smelly curry, and then we're gonna set the position, and you get a few. Uh, presets so you can do camera free first person free third person and third person front and you can also add your very own camera positions using your own behavior pack so i've actually added a few camera positions for my own pokemon add-on for the battle system and it looks really really cool so you have your own camera positions and you can also set ease times and float times and all of that conjoined in the behavior pack uh and it's, it's, it's a little bit limited in the command, but it's so cool in the behavior pack. But let's say I want to set the camera position to example free, which I recommend using. And then you can set um, basically the position to like a position, let's go one in front of the player. So now, oh, uh, actually, let's go one block up. So now we are one block in front of the player. Or if I go, let's go like seven blocks up. And now you can see if I walk forward, there's my person. I can rotate back. And now I'm looking at you with this new camera command. And let's go get that pig. Uh, there we go. <laughs> but basically, uh, you can make like Terraria in Minecraft, which would be so cool. But I'm going to clear my camera position because I don't even know where I went. But And then you can also set so many cool things with this with also a rotation if you wanted to. So let's say you want to have a rotation of just looking where the player is looking. But however, you're going to have to always update that. But if you use a command block, it will allow you to always have it updating. And let's say I go back. And basically, it looks cool. But imagine if you have that subtle fade like I showed you. So basically, using uh, slash camera command, we can set a player's camera. Then we can have a ease. So basically, an ease is a float time between the player's old camera position and the new camera position. So let's say I want to have an ease time of one second. So basically, it, there's going to be a one second difference between the old time, the old position where the camera was, 
and the new camera position. So that's going to give that really gradual ease and it's going to look so crisp and smooth. Then we can select a lot of easing types. So there is actually so many easing types you can choose. Um, I use personally uh, always stick with a sign curve, which is really nice. So like an in and out sign or an out sign, the sign looks really smooth. But you can also go with like experiment with all their like cool easing types. So if I go like out back and then we go pos position from let's go like six blocks out, six blocks up, and then boom, you can see it, it bounces up and it goes back. And so now if we clear, we can try some more camera positions, uh, like in, out, sign, and, oh, we're missing something right here, in, out, sign, and then we can do pause right here, six, six, and then you see it's like an in and out, and it looks really, really cool. Um, so basically, you can do so many stuff with this camera command, and I really want to see the possibilities with these new tutorial maps, which is something really, really cool. But basically, there's a few more stuff with the camera command. So on the uh, Microsoft page, you can see all the details about the camera presets, and basically, it will show you this um, JSON code, which you can actually add to your own behavior packs, to create your own custom camera presets which you can use in game. So basically here's an example where um, you basically can set an identifier, you can inherit from the Minecraft free, and you can set all the positions and rotations and ease and all that stuff. And it's really really cool because um, the new camera positions allow so many possibilities for this command. And just switching back to Minecraft, if you actually want to see this command I'm using, it's really, really easy and really, really cool because I can just do slash execute at smell of curry or any player you want to have, run slash camera back on smell of curry again, and we're setting example free. So that was that custom example that we had. And then we're setting an ease position of one second. So uh, one second from the before to the next. And then we're going to do an out sign. So it's basically going to go a sign curve from the one position to the next position. And we're going to set the position to, neg to negative three of the player and four up with a one rotation of one block forward where the player is facing, which is really, really cool. And I can show you back once we add it back onto the player by simply turning command blocks back on and boom I'm back up into this old position and I can look and view everything like it's a whole different game which is so cool it's like a whole new possibilities with this new feature and I don't know it's just it's too cool I love this new camera command and I think it's gonna add so many cool things for add-ons and so many cool things for <laughs> what is going on there and I just think it's going to be such a cool add-on and idea for this new behavior packs and anything you want to make. So if you have any questions about the camera command, make sure to leave that in the description and, or I mean in the comments, and I'll help you out with any of the camera command questions. And if that's it, then I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.